What is going on everybody, it's Stas here, welcome back to another video. So in today's video we're going to be doing, just like always, an overall market update, taking a look at the Dow Jones, the S&P 500, and the NASDAQ. We're going to be doing a trading update as well. What did I personally do, any day trades, any swing trades, we're going to be talking about that in today's video, as well as going over my mindset, how I'm personally viewing the market as of right now, and just like you read in the title, what was today another false breakout? Was today another bull trap in the stock market? That is what we're going to be talking about in today's video. So without further ado, let's just hop right into it. If you guys enjoy the content, feel free to hit that like button. It really supports me and supports the channel in general. And let's get right into it, guys. So the SPX, the S&P 500, the 500 largest publicly traded U.S. companies ended up doing very well today. We can see here at the close it closed at about $22 in the green up about 0.8% and we saw for those of you all that were paying attention to the markets today we saw quite of a bigger run uh, than that it was up about 40 points at one point today so pretty solid bounce back green day in the S&P 500 so the Dow Jones even better of a day than the S&P 500, up 207 points here, up 0.82%, slightly beating the S&P's 0.8% on the day. Very, very solid for the Dow Jones here. And just like the SPX, we had a pretty big run towards the middle of the day. We plateaued and then we sold off. So we were up at one point 400 points, I believe, um, in the Dow Jones Industrial Average, which is pretty good. Yet again, another bounce back here uh, day here. Pretty, pretty good. So the NASDAQ here ended up going up 111 points, up 1.52% absolutely crazy of a day um, recovery day here for the NASDAQ we ended up closing I guess you can say about 14 points lower from where we are right now putting us at about a 95 to an, uh, an 100 uh, point green day for the NASDAQ so pretty pretty solid uh, bounce back recovery day today in the overall market so let's hop to the SPX and talk about some critical supports resistances some technical and I'm personally looking at so we can decipher and analyze was today yet again another false breakout was today um, a point in time where we thought the markets were going to reverse and possibly come back up, uh, you know, after all of these um, different uh, red days that we've been seeing, we're going to be talking about that, guys. So right off the bat here, let's draw out some resistance support levels very quickly so we can understand where we currently stand here. So the S&P is holding above the 2800 old resistance, now a new support. We're at the 180 SMA support here on the 184 hour chart. That seems to be where we currently are. So judging on, let's say, the 20-day, one-hour chart, take a look at this, guys. This is what I'm talking about in terms of a false breakout. We all thought today that, okay, we're having a very strong green day. This could be the day that we finally reverse, right? But judging off of the patterns that we're seeing here on the SPX on the 20-day, one-hour, the downtrending pattern is still 100% intact. Right. Take a look at these simple moving averages here. The 50 is the green and the 180 is the yellow one here. We notice ever since that bearish cross, which means the 50 SMA is crossing below the 180 SMA, we've been noticing a pattern of lower highs and lower lows for the SPX. Right. We dumped here. We had a rebound day. And it's kind of like a pattern of having one big dump day, one big red day, followed by a green day, a recovery day, right? And let me get deeper into that here. We can see the dump day, uh, the, the, the uh, red day, right? Followed by a nice recovery day, a nice little green pop here. The next day, we dumped hard, right? Dumped pretty hard. We gapped down and we ended up recovering that same day, right? We ended up dumping and then recovering. So we're seeing a pattern here of a dump followed by a recover, a dump followed by a recover. And what did we see yesterday in Monday's trading session? We saw one of the worst, one of the bloodiest days in the stock market for a couple of months at this point, right? And what did we get today, guys? 
we got that bounce back, that green, healthy bounce back day, followed by the continuation of this downtrend and the start of, in my personal opinion, the next push to a lower low for this downwards trending pattern to continue. So it, it did seem earlier in the day that we were going to break out here, but the technicals don't lie, guys. We are still downtrending. It seems like the lower high here, right, has been confirmed, hence why the downtrend is still intact. So going over here to the five-day, five-minute, we can see it a bit clearer through the uh, price action over the past five days, right? We had a recovery day, sell-off, little recovery, sell-off, recovery, sell-off, and today was that recovery day, and we can already see the resistance at about 28.50 for the SP. I guess you can say that's a triple top there with the start of the sell-off again. So tomorrow, guys, what I am personally watching here is just to see if we're going to maybe gap down in the morning, right? I'm keeping an eye on the futures, and I advise you guys to do that as well because if we're noticing, let's say the futures are down in the morning, let's say the s and is down 20, 25 points, let's say we're right around here, um, for the futures in the morning, that might tell me and it might give us all signs that it's going to be a red day. It potentially might push to a lower low and we could play TVIX, which is a volatility ETF that does very well when the markets are selling off and when the markets are really volatile. So if we're gapping down in the morning, guys, that's going to tell me we're continuing down lower low. And if we break 2,800, let's say we get into the 2,700 level, that's just going to confirm this even further for me that the markets are selling off. Off. So, guys, the uh, the proof is in the pudding here. The technicals do not lie. We are still downtrending pretty much on all of these time frames that we're seeing here, right? So, longer time frames, just keep an eye on the 180 SMA and the $2,800 level roughly of support here for these different support levels on a longer term chart. So the Dow Jones Industrial Average here, we ended up breaking the 25, uh, what is this, 500 level of support. That was yesterday, if I'm not mistaken. We got down to about 25,200. We ended up breaking above that level. Remember, a support, once it's broken beneath of, it becomes a resistance. We ended up breaking that resistance, and now towards the end of the market, where we ended up closing at, it seems like the Dow is holding, yet again, the $25, $500 level as a support here, as we can see from the larger term charts. And just like the S&P 500, guys, the Dow Jones is the same thing pretty much in terms of technicals on the smaller term charts. The downtrend is still intact on the 20-day, one hour here. What do we notice? The bearish cross, just like the S&P. We're noticing a sell-off day followed by a recovery day. Sell-off, recovery. Sell-off, recovery. Sell-off to that lower low yesterday. Again, one of the bloodiest days that we've seen in months. Followed by today, which was a bounce back green day with the confirmation of the rejection at the 50 SMA resistance. And now we're in the process of pushing down lower low for the continuation of this downtrend. So what am I doing? I'm watching the futures. I'm watching what's the Dow looking like pre-market hours, right? If we're down 100 points pre-market, 150, let's say maybe even 200, right? This is going to bring the Dow down. It's going to gap it down. And most likely at that point, we're going to be selling off at market open for the continuation of this pattern. And just on the five-day, five-minute, just like the SPX, we see the same thing, right? The lower high is starting to form with a resistance at about 25680 here we got a triple top now we're selling off looking to get down below the 2500 level of support to continue the downtrend so guys again the technicals do not lie i think today was yet again another false breakout another little bull trap here making us believe that okay maybe the markets are going to recover to the upside but again it tricked us towards the end of the day with that rapid little sell-off that we saw so the nasdaq 
pretty much the same, right, in terms of technicals. I'm sure on the smaller term charts, but on the larger term charts here, what am I watching? I'm watching the general area of 7,300 to about 7,400 as the new level of support, roughly where we're trading right now. We're holding that level as of right now, and this is a level that stems back a couple of weeks ago towards the beginning to the end of uh, really for the whole month of March in 2019. This level was a support, right? So we're trading there now. If we break below that level, the next one we might be testing is, let's say, around 7,200, which was an old resistance at about uh, from about the beginning of March. Now we're looking to potentially test that if we end up selling off. So just, just like the SPX, the Dow, let's quickly look at the five-day, five-minute here. We can notice that this is a lower high from the previous. We pushed to a lower low yesterday after that massive red day, and now we saw the sell-off towards the end of the market on the NASDAQ. So we can see it's looking a bit uh, bullish right here. We're reversing. So the key on the future here is to see are we going to gap down below the 180 SMA support and if that does happen guys if we break that support and we slowly start to trend down maybe into the mid 7300s that's just going in my opinion going to gear us up for a big sell-off red day tomorrow so keep an eye on that and just like the 20 day one hour guys we're noticing the same thing here, right? We're noticing the 50 SMA is a resistance. We're getting rejected by it. So just keep an eye for the push to a lower low. And let's say the market's miraculously break this downtrend channel tomorrow if we start to break out especially on the spx and the dow this could be a very bullish move on the markets and at that point my stance my my thought process is going to change but as of now right i'm just going off of what we're seeing here in terms of the solid data technicals that we have here on the screen and that is what they are telling me right these technicals, these candlesticks, these moving averages, all these really do is they paint a picture in my head, right, of what the market and of, and of how the market is reacting, right? You can notice if a market is panic selling by how quick the candlesticks are dropping, right? We can notice when it's consolidating, when there's not much fear, there's a bunch of things you can take out of what the technicals are telling you. So let's do a quick trading update today I'm not gonna lie to you all it wasn't too crazy of a trading day for me because with the markets being this volatile like I've been mentioning in my previous couple of videos I haven't really been making many swing trades because the overall trend of the market as we can see here and on the SPX and the Dow the overall trend is down so I don't really find value in trading Swing trading, holding for a week, two weeks, three weeks when the market is down like this, right? But once the market, if the market breaks out again, that's when I'm going to be swing trading again. But as of now, just mini day trades is what I've been doing, guys, right? So kind of, I was kind of expecting this little pump up that we had here because yesterday, even in the yesterday's video, the previous couple of videos, I've been talking about how every time we push to a lower low, we rebound, right? And I figured, especially since the futures were up today, I figured in, in the pre-market session, I figured that we were going to recover today and then end up pushing up, right? Which is why um, if you look on this, uh, what's it called? The 180 chart here, you notice Actually, no, this might have been on a 20-day, one hour. You notice I put this little arrow here because I was looking to see if the markets were going to fill up and get past that arrow, right? And we ended up doing that. We got all the way up to 2850. And you can imagine during this time period, a lot of the large caps were recovering. So I was focusing on Apple in particular this morning because this one um, kind of has been beaten up harder than a lot of the other larger cap stocks that you can imagine, right? Apple's literally down about 10, 15% at this point from the 215 peak that we got after earnings. And this was literally literally about two weeks ago, guys. So in a matter of two weeks, this one's down about 15% here. And I noticed how we were holding this 180 level of support here, and we could go on the 180, we can see that, right? We were holding the 180-ish level of support from yesterday's session. I noticed how, again, the futures for the SPX 
We're gapping up. I figured, okay, maybe Apple here could be a nice bounce back play today for a quick little day trade. So on the one day, one minute, we can see here, Apple was consolidating, pretty choppy trading here in the middle of uh, the beginning of the day. We went down to 185, back up to 187, retested that 185 support, back up to about 187. And when we pulled down to 186 and we slowly started to consolidate and pop and break out from here, I noticed this is a higher low from the previous, right? I'm noticing it's slowly looking like it wants to fill the gap back up to 187.7, 188 roughly. So this was just a little gap fill play that I ended up taking on Apple. I scalped it very quickly, literally from about, I believe I got in at about like 186.85-ish up to about, I know I got 1%, so I ended up selling roughly towards the top of here, not really the top, roughly I would say at about 188.90-ish, a little bit under 1% on this Apple trade, and I was doing this because, again, at this point in time, I realized the technicals were telling me this, the market was looking to bounce back today, and it doesn't surprise me, right, because we saw a ridiculous red day yesterday, we were down three and a half percent in the NASDAQ, right? So for the market to come back a little bit today, right? Uh, you know, push up a little bit. It didn't, it didn't uh, surprise me whatsoever, right? So that is what the trading update is for today, guys. Literally just Apple, right? A-A-P-L. So let's just talk about very quickly a couple of stocks here that I'm personally watching over these next couple of days. So Baba, I think Baba, if I'm not mistaken, they just reported earnings today. So earnings, I don't think they're out quite yet because the stock doesn't seem like it's moving too much. Are earnings tomorrow, actually? That could be my mistake. 5.15, yup, earnings are tomorrow. My mistake. So Baba is definitely one that I'm watching tomorrow, right? If they report good earnings, this may be a solid day trade play, day trade play especially since, let me double check it, they are reporting before before market central standard time. So this could be a good one to watch out for tomorrow. If the earnings are solid, if they beat on EPS and revenue, this could be a potential trade tomorrow. Another one that I actually haven't talked about or covered whatsoever was Uber, or is Uber rather. Uber stock IPO'd, for those of you guys that don't know, they IPO'd a couple of days ago, literally like five days ago or something, on the 10th of May, we can see they IPO'd at about $42, popped up to $45, sold all the way off to $36. We're seeing a bit of a reversal here, a bullish cross. Now we're looking to hold the simple moving averages as a support, higher lows. We're breaking up here, consolidating towards the after hours. So just keep an eye on Uber, right? IPOs, I personally don't invest in them, but I don't really mind day trading them uh, because a lot of the times they are pretty volatile. You can get pretty solid gains out of them. Literally, this one went up 7% in a day. So I'm just keeping an eye. If we maintain above these moving averages here, let's say we can get a play above $40, maybe a quick little day trade up to $41.42. If there's you know momentum upside tomorrow, Uber, I think, can be very, very solid. So Uber and Baba, those are two that I'm watching tomorrow. Tomorrow, TVIX, of course, if this plays out like I think it's going to in terms of the markets continuing to sell off, TVIX is going to be in store for a pretty solid day. We got the pullback today of about 10%, opening up that margin. If the markets are selling off, if we're seeing futures especially going down, right, in the morning, this can be a very solid play, and this one could be a runner for uh, tomorrow. So, uh, TVIX, Uber, Alibaba, you know, maybe Apple, Amazon, Facebook, these large cap stocks, let's say the market does do well tomorrow, these would be very good. But if my personal uh, theory for tomorrow plays out, I'm really not going to be playing any large cap stocks. I'm mostly going to be playing. TVIX and maybe getting into some other safer swing trades that I'm personally looking to make here. So actually on that note, tomorrow I'm looking to make a video on three stocks that I'm looking to actually swing trade during this 
turmoil of a market we're in during this trade war market so keep an eye for that video tomorrow where i go more into depth on these three swing trades right and let me clarify myself you know i've been saying that i haven't been swing trading recently and that's true i haven't been but there are a couple of stocks that do much better in times of volatility volatility like this than other stocks do so that's pretty much what i'm going to be covering in tomorrow's video so that's it for today's video guys if you enjoyed it feel free to go down below and hit that like button it really supports me and supports the channel in general subscribe to the channel if you're new hit that notification bell so you're notified tomorrow when i do upload that video on the three picks that i'm looking to swing trade and drop a comment let me know what you guys did today i would love to know i'll catch you all in the next video thanks for all the support all the love it means a lot Peace out. Have a great night. I'll catch you all tomorrow.